And uh, because, because crucially, an uh, Antonella, she thought she had all the correct documentation. Um, she, she's an Italian. I mean, presumably, if she'd been coming here on holiday, she'd have been allowed to come for 90 days. Yeah, but the, but the she, thing she is that told when... the truth about coming here to, to help with childcare for her cousin and his English wife, I think. And, and um, as a result of doing that and not having the correct visa, she got banged up overnight. And, and I, I'd sent I, I read that what upset her most, perhaps, and there's a reason behind this was that was the confiscation of her phone and, and, and some other belongings. Yes, absolutely, because she uh, was confiscated uh, all uh, personal belongings, including the, the, uh, her uh, smartphone, because she, she told me um, the authorities there, they didn't want her to uh, take pictures or, uh, or um, shot videos uh, to share uh, afterwards mm. of uh, this uh, Cornbrook Immigration Re Removal Center. And, uh, um, and she, yes, it's uh, basically a prison because there is a barbed wire at walls. Uh, her room just had bars at the windows and she couldn't leave, of, of uh, course. And actually, uh, when she was seized uh, the uh, cell phone, she didn't have um, uh, numbers uh, in, in, because the contacts were in, in uh, her uh, uh, numbers. But, and she was given an a, a old uh, phone with no camera, uh, but, mm. uh, but, but she had no, uh, um, no pounds to, to, Charge it to up. top up yes, yes. the phone. So, I mean, uh, eventually, um, uh, at, at pay phones, I mean, in this uh, center, yes. um, she, uh, she managed to contact uh, her cousin uh, and she was sent back um, uh, the day after back yeah, to, I, I, uh, to Italy. But she, but she was she deported. Me, I mean, in, in, technically, yeah. she was deported yeah. to, to Milan the next but, day. But, yeah, but she told me that uh, she met the, like, uh, for, for instance, another young Italian woman of her same age, uh, uh, 24, and uh, uh, she told her that she had been there f in this center for five days because um, she, she couldn't, I mean, she couldn't, they, they, they couldn't find uh, the right uh, flight to uh, de deport her. So uh, this, this is actually, you know, what, what is really going on. I mean, I wrote this story mainly for um, two reasons. One mm. is, I mean, to report what actually uh, happens in these uh, centers where i mean uh, eu citizens are uh, when they have not the, when they haven't the right to documentation are basically uh, detained in prison for um, a few hours or more hours or a number of uh, uh, days and secondly uh, to make people uh, aware especially i mean in the europe and italy that uh, things have really changed and so if 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 uh, uh, someone has not the right documentation or or or, or, or a visa. I mean, he, they 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 risk to be taken to uh, prison. Also, because the the, the um, there is no. I mean, uh, currently there is no uh, visa provided, especially for young people with mm. the au pair uh, uh, status. So, the case of Marta was. Uh, uh, was particular, but I am told by uh, diplomatic sources that uh, since the first, I mean, since the first of uh, January, uh, that happened to dozens of uh, um, Italian citizens. And that, that's that's just one European country, of course. I, I, I mean, we've we've been in touch yeah. with the Home Office looking for comment this morning. They haven't got back to us yet, but they told you. EU citizens are our friends and neighbours and we want them to remain in the UK, uh, which is why they have until 30th of June to apply for the EUSS if they were resident before 31st of December. Mm -hmm. For those who were not resident before this date, as the public expects, we require mm -hmm. evidence of an individual's right to live and work in the UK. Yes, they, 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 they said exactly this and also... Um, uh, when 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 I asked them about these uh, uh, conditions the, the, in uh, in mm. the prisons that that basically limit the uh, uh, freedom of individuals, uh, they just uh, pointed me back to the to, to the information of gov.uk on the detention uh, s service orders. Uh, that, that is, you know, basically, I mean, detention service orders. So you are yes. detained. So you are in a in a prison.